Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. I'd like to take a moment and dive into the scientist toolkit to discuss an experiment by which scientists can measure the degradation or loss of protein within a sample. If that sample is a tissue like muscle, brain, or something else, or cells that are on a plate. Learn your body, a science-based education. In this experiment, we will be using a fungicide or a fungus killer that is produced by a bacteria. This fungicide is called cyclohexamide, but there are other compounds out there that can accomplish similar results to how we will use it for this experiment. In this experiment, we are trying to measure the rate of protein breakdown in a sample. So as an example, let's say we have cells on a plate and these cells are surrounded by media, otherwise stated cells surrounded by liquid that contains the nutrients for cells to continue living. We can take these cells and quantify the amount of a particular or all protein in these cells as a baseline measure of protein within the cells. Now we have one time point, the baseline, and we want to measure protein degradation or breakdown. So we simply add cyclohexamide to the media surrounding the cells and the cells take it up. And then we wait varying times and measure protein. What is cyclohexamide in this case doing? Well, cyclohexamide has a chemical structure that allows it to bind ribosomes that are responsible for the synthesis of new proteins by linking together amino acid after amino acid until a protein chain is formed. Normally, this process goes by uninterrupted until protein chains are completed and ready for processing. During this process, a factor known as eukaryotic elongation factor binds the ribosome and allows the use of energy to move the ribosome down its reading script, known as RNA, and attach the next amino acid. However, cyclohexamide binds the ribosome in such a way that it blocks this elongation factor from accessing the ribosome, thereby blocking the ribosome from continuing its synthesis of proteins. In this way, cyclohexamide stops protein synthesis. Now, scientists use this to our advantage, because if we stop protein synthesis throughout the cell, what protein has already been produced is all that is left. This stands to reason. As such, proteins are no longer being produced and are only being degraded, because the degradation machinery is still functioning, unlike the production synthesis machinery. So we add cyclohexamide to the aforementioned media surrounding the cells and across time we can measure how quickly degradation occurs. We can either measure the protein quantity at varying time points directly or we can use immunofluorescence and watch under a microscope that detects fluorescence the fading fluorescent intensity of a particular protein over time. Bottom line, we stop the cell synthesizing protein and watch what happens to the proteins that were there pre-treatment, pre-cyclohexamide. That's a basic protein degradation experiment. I hope this proved informative. And with all that said, I hope to have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Bye.